Hello Aries, and welcome to Blunt Sagittaro. My name is Robin, and Aries, today we're going to do a reading about the person on your mind. We're going to find out what they think about you, what they feel about you, what actions or what they're going to do towards you in the next couple weeks. Let's talk about them, Aries, and see what they're doing. And Aries, I do want to mention, I am doing a contest. I'm giving away eight free readings. So if you want a free reading with me and enter a contest for one, just like, comment, subscribe, typical YouTube style. Oh, I'm flying. Um, I'm doing it to say thank you for your support on my channel. I appreciate it. So let's get into your readings. So we have very soon clearly decide what you want. So, you know, now, and I'll be announcing the winner story on the 30th of August. So it goes until the 29th reconciliation. Someone from your past is returning here, Aries and the card that fell on the floor. Uh oh, unrequited love. So there's not enough traction or chemistry to keep this relationship going. So let's see if that's a fear that they have, or if that's how you feel about this person. Um, who clearly wants a reconciliation with you. So let's talk about this. Or maybe they're going back and forth, whether they're sh they're not sure. I think they're not sure, but let's see. The cards will clarify and let us know what this person's thinking. Person on Aries' mind. How do they feel about Aries right now? And what actions are they going to take? Talk to us, please. And thank you. So we have the Five of Swords in reverse. I can't see that one. So just give me a moment. Ooh, the Queen of Swords. Yeah. That's what they think is going to be met with. And they might, well, very, I can't even talk. <laughs> Maybe they're tongue-tied, the two of swords. They might be met with that. They're thinking a lot. So we got three swords here. So they're in their mind, but they're ready to be done. So the five of swords in reverse, uh, six of pentacles, queen of swords, the two of swords. There's that crossroads. I told you they're going back and forth here. But what are their actions? What are they, uh, what are they going to be doing? Talk to us. Whoa, there's the high priestess. There's the Ace of Wands in reverse, so they're not sure if there's enough attraction to get over whatever this obstacle was. Whether they're afraid you're not going to be attracted to them, or they don't know if they can get over what happened, we'll find out. The Ace of Swords, the something happened. Uh, the Moon, and the Strand, and the King of Cups. Don't doubt the way they feel though, Aries. They have a lot of feelings for you. This person's in love with you. King of Cups is the overall feeling. They know how they feel. They're not backing down from how they feel, but there's some kind of obstacle that they're wondering if their attraction and if their feelings are enough. So with the five of swords in reverse, I feel like they're kind of done thinking about it. They don't want to think about this anymore. I feel like this person, you've been re on replay in this person's mind for a hot minute. I don't feel like you just separated, you know, yesterday. Um, I do feel like it's been a little bit of a separation here. With the six of pentacles though, <laughs> it's like they can't stop thinking about this. It's like they don't want to think about this anymore, but they can't stop thinking about you, Aries. So um, I feel a little bit of like a frustrating feeling from your person because the, when you have those feelings for someone, you know, they don't just go away. <laughs> um, with the queen of swords, I feel like this is both your energies. I feel like they're trying. They, I'm, I'm sorry to tell you this. They did try to turn their back on you, Aries. They tried to walk away from this. They tried to basically turn their back from this, but they can't. And they're at this crossroads where they don't know what to do. What do you want to say about this two of swords? And the Queen of Wands in reverse. They don't know if there's enough. They don't know. There's the King of Cups. But they're... <laughs> what the... and there's the Four of Swords. They're, they're keeping silent right now. I tell you that. This Four of Swords. See how this knife, this sword is through his mouth. They're not saying anything right now. Um, this person's being silent. They're definitely holding back. Um, but damn. Like there's the decision. Love and passion and chemistry and drama. There's some kind of drama and they don't know if their feelings can overcome that obstacle, that drama. They're trying to take control of this though. Um, there's you, the, the emperor. So you're on their, like I said, you're on replay in their mind here, Aries. But, and there's again, they don't know if they can get over it, but they're trying to trust their intuition to guide them in the right direction here. What do you want to say about this ace of swords? Because they got some kind of clarity. Wheel of fortune. And the ace of pentacles in reverse. And the four of pentacles in reverse and the Ten of Swords, and the Tower. Your person's having a tower moment. <laughs> In the near future, they're trying to find the strength. Um, I don't know. They're trying to find the strength to go forward. I can't tell what way they want their cycle. They're disappointed with the way it is now. They're frustrated. They don't like it. Um, they're trying to They're trying to walk away. There's the Eight of Cups. Aries, this person is trying to walk away, and they... Let's see what this is. Eight of Swords in reverse, the Nine of Pentacles, Two of Swords in reverse, the Three of Wands. They're really close to walking away. I don't see them doing anything towards you in the next week. They're still going back and forth. They don't know if they want to reach out or if they want to walk away. We're literally getting back and forth energy. Um, but in the next couple of weeks, I feel like, and for them, it's like, 
Ah, they're trying. <laughs> I feel their frustration. It's going slow. This person, your person, Aries, is confused as fuck. So I don't know what happened. I don't know what made them so confused. They got a lot of love for you, but man, they don't know if they can get over what happened in order to move forward. They want a new cycle with you. So it's funny that I put the Wheel of Fortune on the moon like that. I just kind of realized this, but this is all about they want something with you. They're very emotional over this. They have a lot of fears about reconnecting with you, about reaching out to you. They're afraid to do it, um, but they're trying to. And the Ace of Swords... I do feel like that's some communication. They want to. I don't see them actually doing it. I see them wanting to. I, they want to talk to you. They want to reach out to you. Um, but they're still going back and forth. They know they're running out of time. If they don't make a decision, they're going to lose you either way. So if they want you, there's the sun. So, and on the bottom of the deck is the world in reverse. They got unfinished business. This isn't over for them. They want to reach out, but I don't see them doing anything in the next week or so. So, Aries, let's get a few oracle messages. And we'll see where you are in a month. Because this person's very confused. So let's get the hidden truth. What are they not saying to Aries? You both know I am not the one for you. <laughs> okay. I told you they're going back and forth. Um, and I feel like that's a little bit of insecurity. Whatever happened, maybe they feel like you can't get over it. Take that, uh, you know, always take that how it resonates with your situation. Um, it, could be, it could be the other way, right? It could be you that can't get over this. And they don't know if you can forgive them or if you can get over them. And that's what's stressing them out. Um, so take that how it resonates with the Aries. But what's the caring connection between Aries and this person? True love. <laughs> true love comes when you least expect it. And true love has, you know, the ebbs and lows. That, or the ebbs and the flow... The, I can't even talk. I'm telling you, this person's tongue-tied. True love has ups and downs. No relationship is just, like, straight, right? There's good, there's bad. There's highs, there's lows. The ebbs and the flows. <laughs> Which, you know, the moon. Very, um, you can be dealing with the Pisces, because we have the high priestess and the moon here. Um, what, is, what does Aries need to, to surrender to to get the outcome they want with this person? Surrender to the habit of people-pleasing. So speak your need and be true to yourself. So focus on your own happiness instead of always trying to make everyone else happy. So they have to make themselves happy. You can't do that for them. That might have been part of the problem. You might have been giving too much. Um, okay, Aries, let's find out where you guys are in a month. So let's see if they come and talk to you. Let's see if this reconciliation is going down. Let's see if they talk to you. You tell them where to take it. Let's see if you talk to them and receive them. Talk to us. Where's Aries in this person? So this is your potential outcome. So I say potential Aries because there's always free will. You're going to make the choices you're going to make. An outcome is a month. Where are you guys in a month? Whoa, we have two pages. We have the page of wands. And there's the page of pentacles. Interesting. Okay, this person could be younger than you, Aries. Or you could be younger than them. There could be an age difference. Um, ten of swords in reverse. The seven of wands. Ah, they're coming out like one by one. <laughs> there's a third page. Okay, page of cups in reverse. And the moon in reverse. Oh, yeah, these conversations. There's a lot of conversation, but there's actually a lot of arguing between you and this person. So the page of wands in reverse is about um, harsh words being uh, said. <laughs> so if they come to you, you might have been harsh. If you, they might have been harsh. Someone was harsh. Someone said a few things, but um, that's in the past. And you see how the page of pentacles is putting their turning their back on that and offering something going forward. However, with the ten of swords in reverse... They're ready to heal things. They're ready to come forward. You'll hear from this person within the month here, Aries, to heal things, to move forward. I feel like you're guarded, but I also feel like there's... Woo! Sorry about that. I feel like they're... Um, you know what I feel? I feel like they're projecting some of their... They're blaming you for shit when you didn't do it. <laughs> I don't know how else to say it. And you're just like, wait a motherfucking minute. Uh, I ain't going to pull up with that shit. So I feel in a sense you're holding back a little bit until they take full responsibility for whatever it was that happened. Um, you know, if you take responsibility, you do if they do. But either way, usually when there's a rift like that, whether we reacted, whether we did something or whatever, but they need to take responsibility. And I feel like they're trying to put a little bit of blame on you, which is putting you a little bit on the defensive. But with the moon in reverse and the five of swords, yeah, they're like I said, so what? They come and talk to you. There's <laughs> definitely some arguments here. Three pages is also representative of um, arguments. It can be. It can be. Um, it could also just be a lot of messages. But with the moon in reverse and the five of swords, there's some arguing here. Um, but sometimes, though, you just got to get that shit out in order to resolve things. So the thing with the ten of swords is it's upside down. So healing is beginning. Sometimes those things need to be said. We need to hear that. You need to say it. They need to say it in order to heal things, right? Remove your ego. 
say things constructively. We don't have to like attack people. We can constructively criticize them and just make sure that that's what they do and you do to them and make sure it's good communication and things will go well. But there's some arguing to resolve whatever that conflict was. Um, but the point is you both want to work on it from what I see here. And when both people want to work on it, usually they do. So I got, I'm grabbing these. So there's something else they want to say here, Aries. So hold on. What else do you want to say about that? The chariot. <laughs> the chariot and the four swords in reverse. So don't hold back, right? When the four swords is up in this deck, remember, he's not saying nothing. He's 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 saying silent, he's but he's not. Not and there's the page of cups upright. So they're not going to be holding back. They want to move forward. The choice will be yours, Aries. I believe you're going to choose to move forward with the cancer here. Sorry, chariot, but it's representative cancer energy. But the thing about the chariot is, see these waves? These are rocky. These are emotions. These are those obstacles, the fights, the harsh words, the harsh criticisms that both of you are probably going to be saying to one another. <sighs> and you're both going to have to listen and be these fish <laughs> and overcome those waves. But they do because the chariot's successful. He goes forward with success. So there's, you will be successful in moving forward with this person. If you choose two areas, the choice will be yours. Um, that's what I have for you. So Aries, I hope you enjoyed your reading. If you did and you want to enter for a free one, don't hesitate to like, comment, subscribe. If and if you don't want a free one, um, don't hesitate to like because it helps my channel to grow. <laughs> the like button is very important in the YouTube land. So Aries, let's get your final message to close this off. And again, August 30th, I'll be announcing the winners. Um, so what do you want to say to Aries? What's the final message? for Aries today. Sorry, I cut my thumb and it's like really hard to shuffle these huge cards with this cut. All right. The time to relax is when you don't have time to relax. <laughs> Ain't that the truth? So take the time to relax and unwind before bed without your phone or other media. And as an Aries, I'm not sure if you can even relax. My son's an Aries. <laughs> he doesn't know how to relax. Um, read a book, journal your thoughts on the day, or simply sit outside with the quiet and the night sky. Do your best to avoid screen time during relaxation time. So take a few moments to yourself, Aries. So Aries, thank you so much for watching. I truly wish you the best of luck. Until next time.